He tells us in 1 John 4.20 that whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. Now this is a tough line, right? That if we can't love our neighbor or our brother or sister or love one another, then, then John's basically calling us on the carpet and saying, how are you saying you love God when you can't even love a person that you see in front of you? And so the challenge for Christianity is that we should love one another, right? The way Jesus loved us, the way God loves us. And so this becomes difficult. So, so I started thinking about this when I got the scripture. I th started thinking about everybody else's. They're just practice. They're just practice for me loving God, right? How I, how I love you is how, how, I'm, how, how, how I think that God wants me to love him, right? Or be in relationship with him. So now when I'm faced with a difficult person, I think to myself, okay, you are a horrible person, but God loves you. How would he love you, right? And, and so I have to work through that, right? Because I don't want to be seen as someone who hates my brother and sister, but then walks around talking about how much I love God. Because John says I can't do that. So I really have to do that. So everybody else, you guys are just practice. You're just practice for my relationship with God, right? Whether that's in marriage, that's the closest relationship you'll have to the Trinity, father, children, children, parent relationships, father, son, just like God is, right? All these relationships that God has with us we have with others. And so we're going to use our Bible to describe that. And the Bible is full of good ones and bad ones, right? The Bible is full of ways not to do it and ways to do it. 